Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking in this video about my two Campanotus sexcatatus founding colonies. These are a smaller species of tropical carpenter ant, um, and they are interesting because they are actually polygynous, they'll accept multiple queens. This colony here has four queens, and a lot of brood. They have developed very quickly since they got their first, um, nanitics two days ago, I think. They went from one to about five, and I accidentally, uh, killed one worker from being an idiot, and I just, um, I just now fed them some sugar water, and they're eating it, they're eating it like crazy. I think we just saw one worker with a full um, abdomen. This other colony here, um, they made a little bit more of a mess with the mealworm I fed them. Um, so they're harder to record. Uh, has only one queen and they have been developing at a similar speed. They just got their third nididic today. Um, they got their first on this uh, she got her first on the same day that this colony did, because I believe I actually caught them. Well, it makes sense if I caught them on the same day. One queen in this colony actually has a squished gaster. I don't know what that's about, but, you know, I think she's laying eggs. I think that was actually from when I caught her be being an idiot, because she was flying around. Um, this, it, it's actually, it's a decently fast developing species because I caught these queens in June and most of the time I started feeding them recently and most of the time I had them, I was storing them at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So they were pretty cold. But I guess fast development is to be expected from tropical Campanotis. Um, I think that's all I have to talk about. Bye.